Here we go, guys. All right. Well, hey, welcome to Grace Kids this morning. So glad to see all of you here with us. How many of you guys had a great spring break? Woo! Only one of you? Christ, they become a new person. We learned that part last week. This week we're going to learn the next part. So, who can tell me what the first word is going to be? Lilia. There. There. You're right, because it's T plus hair. There. Okay. Now, what's the next word going to be? Riley? Uh, woman and a man. It is a woman and a man. But what are they? Are they young? Old. Old. Okay, so they're old. Now, what does the sign do? Points the direction or way. Okay, so they're old way. Everybody say they're old way. Of what? Of life. What's the heart? You see the heart? Life. Okay, so it's got a heartbeat. If your heart stops, you don't have a life. So, life. Okay, so their old way of life has what? If the light is green, you can go. Go. So go, G L plus N E is gone. gone. Okay, so let's say the whole thing starting with the very top, the black or drape. Repeat after me. When anyone belongs to Christ, they become a new person. Their old way of life has gone. Second Corinthians 5 dot dot 17 A and B. All right, so next week we're going to learn verse part C. This is going to be the whole verse next week. All right, so you got it? Okay, let's see what, if Mo can handle it today. Probably not. Mo! Scripture picture. Pastor Brittany, you ask me this every time, and you know the answer is no, I cannot stop eating. Okay, uh, can you come out, please? Okay, there you are. Hi. Hi. All right, come on out here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Are you ready? Uh huh. All right. Get this hairy legs out here. All right, there we go. All right. Hi, everybody. How are y'all doing today? Good. We're doing great. They just learned the scripture picture. Another one? Yes, another one. It's not the same as last week? It's not the same as last week. It's new. Uh-oh. Are you? Uh-oh, yeah. <laughs> you should be a little nervous. Are you ready to try and say it? Well, I'm always party. ready to try. I don't know if I'm going to get it and make sense of it, but, well, that's why I have you guys. Right. Okay, so the first part, you should get the first part because it's just what we learned last week, the first sentence. Okay, can you read that? <clears throat> the first part, then we'll get some pictures. Hmm. When anyone belongs to Christ, they become a new person. Yes. Okay, so we've got part one. 
Got that it. was pretty easy. Right. Yes, you just have to read it. All right, now let's see the next. Uh, the well, next. let's see. Um, T plus signs with haystacks and an old lady and an old man holding hands with uh, a post with no. arrows of no. 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 heart with lines going through it has stoplights in plus E. Second Corinthians five seventeen A and B. Pastor Brittany. Yeah. None of that makes sense. I'm pretty sure that's not in the Bible. Well, I'm pretty sure you said it wrong. I don't even know I where did. you got haystacks, because that is red hair, okay? Well, so, it looks like a haystack. Haystacks are uh, yellow. All right, I mean, haystacks so, are yellow, but anyone could have put red food dye in it. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's help you out here, okay? All right, boys and girls, he needs some serious help today. Okay, so it's T plus hair, there, okay? So there is the first word. There. Got it? Hey. No. There. There? There. Okay. okay. And now it is a woman and a man, but they are not young. They are oh. old. So it's they're old. They're old. Okay. Yes, they're old. Now the sign is pointing the way. Okay. So it's their old Way. Well, that makes sense. It points in a direction, and a direction is a way. Okay, yes. sounds good. Okay, so they're all the way. Uh, what's the heartbeat, boys and girls? Life. Because it's the heart, and it's the little line is the heartbeat. Oh, and so okay. it's life. They're all the way of life. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Exactly. Has. Now, the stoplight is green, Mo. When the light is green, that means you can. Go. Go, exactly. So it's G O plus N E makes gone. Exactly. Okay, so it's their old way of life has gone. Well, no, that makes more sense. Yes, okay. Now, let's say the whole thing. Mo, do you want to say the whole thing and we'll repeat it after you? What are you doing, buddy? I'm, I'm getting situated. I'm a little okay. uncomfortable. All right, so do you want to say it and we'll repeat it after you? Well, let's try. Okay, here we go. Say the whole thing. When anyone belongs to Christ, they become a new person. Okay, you gotta slow down. You gotta give us time to repeat it. Oh, okay. oh, oh, I'm All right. sorry. Here when, we anyone, when anyone, when anyone, anyone be, belongs, belongs to Christ, to Christ, they become, they become a new person. A new person. There, there, old, old way, way of life, of life has, has gone. Gone. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Five. Five. Dot dot. Dot dot. Seventeen. Seventeen. A and B. A and B. Pastor Brittany, what's the A and B mean? Well, this verse has another sentence after that, after what we've already learned, and so that will be once we learn all of it, the whole verse. So we're telling you this is just a part of the verse. So you mean to tell me there's more? There is more. Oh boy. Yeah, we'll see you next week how, how you do. All right, so, Mo, but let's talk about for a second what this verse means. Okay, so we're talking about how Jesus comes and changes everything. And so the first part says that if anyone belongs to Christ, they become a what? New, new creation. New person, a new person. Now, does that mean they change the way they look? No. Or they, they're, what does it mean? They change where? On the inside, right? In their heart. In their heart. They should not, they should put away the old things, the selfishness, like we talked about last week, and the pride that we're going to talk about this week, and they become more like Jesus, okay? So their old way of life, okay, so that means all the sinful things that we do before we come to Jesus, when we come to him, it's supposed to be, what's the last word? Gone, okay? It's supposed to leave and go. We're supposed to be new and different people. We're supposed to be changed like our title says sounds good yeah i like it so that's what we're talking about we're talking about how we become new how jesus changes everything all right Mel, well thanks for coming today i'm helping you get down okay okay hey pastor did you, finish your snack? Yes. did you notice something what you should be proud of me what i didn't eat during the whole memory verse you made it through the whole memory verse without eating that is shocking isn't it it is all right so i'm gonna let you Go back and finish your snack now. All right, everybody say bye, Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 All right, have a great day.
name of All right. So, boys and girls, what we're going to do now is we're going to get ready to go into the next part of our service, and we're going to be able to, to take a look at our Bible story. Stories of the Bible. Jesus washes his disciples' feet. This is Jesus. hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus and his disciples went to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus had 12 men who followed him through his ministry. They were called his disciples. Jesus and his disciples gathered for one final meal together. Jesus got up from the table, took off his robe, and began to wash his disciples' feet. Jesus loved his disciples and he knew the time was coming for him to leave them and return to heaven. When Jesus came to Peter, he said, whoa, 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 wait. Are you going to wash my feet? Jesus said, you don't understand what I'm doing now, but someday you will. No. Peter said, you will never wash my feet. But Jesus then told him that unless he washed his feet, he would not belong to him. Oh, well then, okay! Then Peter said, Then wash my hands and head as well, not just my feet. But Jesus told him that was not necessary. He just needed to wash his feet for Peter to become clean. So Jesus finished washing their feet and said that the disciples should do to others as he had done for them. He told them to follow the example that he had set for them to serve each other and not think of themselves as greater than any other. Then God would bless them for doing as Jesus had taught them to do. Okay guys, so we're going to get ready to take a look at our Bible lesson for today. All right, and so it's it's a really really good one, okay. It's but also it deals with something that a lot of us don't really want to do, okay. And sometimes that involves serving other people because you know sometimes we don't want to do it because maybe we've had a bad day or or we don't feel like it or maybe because you know we're we've got so many different other things going on that you know we don't have time to stop and meet the need of someone else because we're too busy. Okay, but we've got to be able to find that moment within ourselves, whether we're having a bad day or whether we're having a good day or whether we're busy or we're not busy to stop and help somebody and serve other people just like what Jesus did. Okay, so Ethan, go ahead and throw my first point up on the screen right there. First point is this. If anyone should have been served by everyone and treated like a king, it was Jesus because he was the son of God. He was, he is the king, okay? And so he came and he gave his life on the cross for us and, and forgave us of our sins. Yet he was the son of God. And so the disciples, they should have been washing his feet. He should have been the one treated like a king and served all the time. But that's not what was intended, okay? It wasn't the will of the father for that to happen. The whole point was for us to be able to learn how to serve other people, okay? We can't be selfish, all right? We have got to be selfless. And, and selfless means putting other people's needs ahead of your own. Being selfless means not thinking about yourself all the time, not about what I want, what what I want to do, or what I think, or, or, what, I, or, or what I don't want to do. It's... What can I do for somebody else? What can I do for Jesus? That's what we need to be thinking about. Jesus came to serve, not to be served. Okay, and he served us. 
by teaching us, and then ultimately by giving his life on the cross for us. Our, the need that he saw was our sin and our, and our brokenness. And he, need, he saw that it needed to be fixed. And so that's why he came. That's why God sent him, so he could give his life on the cross for us and forgive us of our sins. All right? Next, I have this right here. All right? It's the scripture. It's, it's Mark chapter 10, verse 45. It says, The Son of Man did not come to be served. He came to serve. The Son of Man came to give his life to save many people. Okay? So that just backs up what I just said. All right? He came to save us. He came to save you, Jackson. He came to save you, Lily, and, and Bryson, and JC, and Lilia, and Riley, and, and Sydney, and Ethan, and myself. He came to save us all. Okay? He did this for everyone. But you guys have heard me say before that we have to choose to accept it, right? Right? Is it going to be something that's just dropped in our laps? Say, hey, here you go. It is a free gift. And in a way, it kind of is dropped in our lap. But we have to choose to accept it and live it out in our life. Okay? All right? My next point is this right here. Moving quickly. If Jesus gave everything to serve the world, we must be willing to serve others too. Okay? We have to follow Jesus' example. If Jesus did it, don't you think that we should do it too? Yeah, exactly, Jackson. We should. If Jesus did it, that means we should follow that example as Christians, as believers, because we are to be Jesus' hands and feet extended, Lilia. We're supposed to be able to we're supposed to go and do what he started, continue on what he started. Because if we don't, then we're not following his example. And then he's going to go and find someone else who will. All right, so we have to be willing to meet the needs of other people, whether we want to or not. You know, I, I go back to the story of the Good Samaritan, you know, when we had, you know, the, the Samaritan who was who was robbed by, um, or, or, or not the Samaritan, but the, uh, the Jewish man who was robbed on the side of the road and beaten and left for, and left for dead. And we had a, a priest who walked by and another guy who walked by with one one guy didn't even want to deal with it because he was he was too busy. Another guy didn't want to deal with it because he saw that ah, that's too much. That's that's too messy. I I've, I've got things to do. I got to go on. But then a Samaritan came by, and Jews and Samaritans they didn't get along with one another. He picked him up and tossed him and put him on the back of his of his camel or his donkey and carried him to the next town, bandaged him up cleaned his wounds, and then took care of him. That right there is servanthood. That's meeting the needs of other people, and that's what we're supposed to do. Okay? We have to be willing to serve others too, whether we're having a good day or a bad day, whether, we're, whether we feel like it or we don't. Meet the needs of other people, serve other people, because, hey, guess what? If you're having a bad day, serving someone will help you feel better. Jesus will help you feel better in that. Okay? Because you're doing something for him. Remember, the Bible tells us what you do unto the least of these, you do unto him. And so if you if you if you ask mom and dad, hey, can we go get that homeless person a hot meal? You're doing that for Jesus. Okay, if you guys bring some old clothes here in the next couple of weeks for what we're doing to help Lola and Alicia to take clothes down to the homeless people in the inner city of Dallas, guess what? You're doing that for Jesus. We have to be willing to serve other people. Okay? Let's bow our heads and let's close our eyes. Dear Jesus, we love you so much. We are so, so thankful for everything that you've done for us, God. You, you gave your life on the cross for us. And you forgave us of our sins. You saw the greatest need ever. And that was our sin. And that was our brokenness. You saw that there was no way for us to have a relationship with the Father before you. And so you came and you willingly 
gave your life on the cross for us so that our sins could be forgiven, so that we could have a relationship with your Father and be with you in heaven for eternity. You saw that need and you met it. And God, we are so thankful. So thankful. God, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I pray that as we get ready to go from here in just a few short moments, God, that this that this short lesson, God, it would stick in the hearts of these kids. God, that they would look at what they can do, God, to meet the needs of the people around them, Father, and 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 not you know, and not be held up by the fact that maybe they're not having a good day or or maybe they're too busy. May that not hold them up, but Lord, may they look past that and say, No, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something for God in his kingdom right here. I'm gonna help this person. I'm gonna meet a need. Help them to see the value and the significance of that and knowing that in their heart, God, that when they do that, they're doing it for you. Because it's not about us, God. It's all about you. It's all about your kingdom. It's about the people around us. That's what it's about. Father, help us not to be inward focused, God. Where we're only focused on ourselves. God, help us to be outward focused. Where we're focused on the people around us. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. So, boys and girls, what are you what are you gonna do this week when you go back to school? What are you gonna do? Lily? Well no, not not not, not what are you gonna do at school, but what are you gonna do with what we've talked about today, JC? Be like the good Samaritan. Yeah, be like the good Samaritan. Help somebody. No matter what it is, if you can if you can make a difference, do it. Because it's what God would do. It's what Jesus would have done. Yeah, so why don't we give them some practice? Let's do it. All right, so here's my name. I need, I want all the boys to stand up. All the boys. Everybody up. All the boys on your feet. All right, I'm talking about here. I want JC and Bryson and Jackson right here. And, and Riley. And Riley, I want you over there. Come over here, Riley. You're, you're all here. right, so. All right, Jackson, you go over there with them. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to speak. You guys can serve other people. All right, so you guys over here, y'all are at the park and you're playing soccer. All right, so y'all play soccer. And Riley, you can just sit down on the stage. I'm okay. Just sit down. All right, and then you guys are playing soccer, and poor old Riley is just over here by himself. So, what could you do today? What could you do to serve somebody? What could you do? Do you want to play with us? And Riley says yes. So come play with them. See? All right. So, guys, the first thing we want to do to serve other people. <laughs> Y'all are really playing. All right. Good job. All right, bring me the soccer ball. All right, now everybody say. Everybody say. Serve. Serve. The lonely. The lonely. Because you're always going to see somebody who is alone. Yes. And he needs your help. That, so the lonely. that is one of the coolest things that you can do is in, include somebody in what you're doing. All right, you boys can have a seat. Is include somebody in what you're doing. Include them in your activity. Because maybe maybe they're new to the area and they need a couple of friends. All right? So, include them. Don't be exclusive. Exclusive means that you don't allow new people into your group. Be inclusive. Okay? All right. So... Now I need a volunteer. Mm. All right, let's use who? Lilia. Lilia. All right, Lilia. Stand up here. All right, I'm your mom. Here's your allowance for the month. All right, now Lilia, you're at church. And Pastor Devin is talking about a missionary who needs your help. Yeah, so we need to give some money to our missionaries today because they need help today because what we give it helps them with the resources and the things that they need to be able to effectively minister to the people around them and tell them about Jesus. And when you give, it helps someone just like you. So what'd you give today? So what are you gonna do, Lilia? There you go. Give $15. See? Now you don't have to 
to give every single dollar that you have. Lily had kept some, and that's fine. But she gave what she could. She gave some. Now, JC, let's pretend you're here too. Come on up here. All right, now, JC, you don't have any money. You don't have any money. And Pastor Devin said there's a missionary who needs your help. You don't have any money to give. But what can you do? Yes, you could ask to borrow some money. That works. What else could you do? Let's say, let's say you're not friends with Lillian. Y'all aren't friends. Y'all like each other. All right. You don't want to ask for money. What could you do? There's still something you could do even when you can't give money. What could you do for the missionary who needs your help? Pray for the missionary. Exactly. Go. Good job. All right. Thanks, guys. You're going to sit down. So the next thing you can do, the next thing we all can do is serve the world by giving and praying. Okay, sometimes you have extra money. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you can ask your friends to help you so that you can give too. And sometimes all we can do is pray. Absolutely. So don't underestimate that. Okay? Maybe maybe you can't physically meet that need with money or with time or whatever, but you can actually stop and you can pray in that moment for that need. Okay? And God hears that prayer. He sees that prayer and he will honor it. Okay? So pray and give for the world. Serve the world by praying and giving. All right? Now, our next thing. Yeah. Now I need, let's see. Let me get Lily and Lily? Jackson. Jackson? Y'all come right up here. All right. So y'all just run around. Y'all are playing on the playground. Y'all run around and play. Yeah. You're playing tag. Keep going. All right, now. She got him. Let's say it's hot outside. Lily, I'm going to give you this. You, these are your two water bottles. You have two water bottles. You brought two water bottles today. And y'all are hot. Y'all are like hot. You're like, oh. You're so hot. <laughs> now, water. poor Jackson, he forgot a water bottle today. And you have two. What could you do? He's hot and thirsty. So give him one. Give him a water bottle. See? Now. Drink it on down. You're going to take a drink. Oh, take a drink. So, now, you have just served your friend by being their name because Jackson was hot and thirsty and you gave him some water from your extra, right? That's awesome. All right, so, you guys can serve your friends. And sometimes it may look like just helping them, just being a friend to them, listening to them once they're having problems. Absolutely. So, everybody say serve. Serve. Your. Your. Friends. 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 Or, yeah, there you go. Serve your friends. Serve your friends. Now, I've got one more. One more, more practice. Everybody sit down. All right, who wants to do this one? All right, let's tell JC you do this one. All right, JC. First, I want you to sit up. You're just sitting. Let's see right here. All right, it's Saturday. You're playing video you're playing games. You're playing video games at home. It's Saturday. You're not really doing anything. Your family's not doing anything. You're just hanging out at home. And, and Dad says. No, no. Dad doesn't say anything. Nothing. He's just playing his game. And he realizes, like, it's kind of dirty in our, our house needs to be clean. We need to sweep and things need to be done. And what could you do, JC? Instead of playing video games, you could go do some chores, right? Now, did JC's dad ask him to do chores? No. Did his mom? No. No. That is serving. Serving is not doing what you're asked to do. That's just being obedient. Serving is doing something before you are asked to do it. Yeah. Okay, so everybody say serve. Serve. Your, your, your family. Family. Now, sometimes it might look like doing the dishes or it's helping cook dinner or helping clear the table or, or playing nicely with your brother or sister. Or, or helping somebody in need. Or helping somebody there in need. There you go. All and right. It just means being a good helper. Yeah, it's it's talking, it's it, it's making yourself available. We talked about that a couple of weeks ago. We talked about making yourself available and opening your eyes to see the things that need to be done around you. Okay, because if we're only focused on ourselves, only focused on what we need to do, only focused on what we want to do, we're never gonna be able to meet the needs of other people because we're not paying attention to what's going on around us. Okay, so open your eyes and watch what is going on around yeah. you. Lily, do you have a question? Yeah, 
If somebody's hurt, you need to ask for help. Ask for help. Yeah, Bryson? Help someone find the bathroom if they don't know where it is. That's what it is. Riley? Well, that's Good. great helping. Good. That's great. Jackson, do you have something? No? Okay. All right. Lilia, last one here real quick. Um, I helped my mom do the dishes. Well, that's great. Yeah. That's serving. Yeah, yeah right? absolutely. Okay, you so serve everyone. We yeah. need, need, meet a need. It's really, really simple, boys and girls. It's really, really simple. It really is. We just have to branch out and go do it. Yeah, don't wait to be asked. If there's something that needs to be done, just do it. All right, so I don't know about you, but sometimes serving it can be hard yeah and sometimes we don't want to do it and sometimes we're selfish and we're proud and we just want to do what we want to do but you know we're talking about is how this changes everything the cross jesus has changed everything and our verse talks about how we become a new person and sometimes that new person still wants to do what the old person did sometimes we can fall back in those patterns and so right now we're going to take a minute we want you guys to really think about how you can serve how you can be more like jesus and we're going to sing a song together as you think about this. It says, Jesus, you change everything. Because Jesus does change everything. He changes us. He can take away our pride and our selfishness and replace it with servanthood. And not just serving because we have to, but serving because we want to. Because it brings others joy and because it brings us joy. You changed the course of, of life itself. You changed our hearts. You provided a way for us to know who you are and know you more. Because without you, God, we would be lost. Without you sending your son, Jesus, we would be lost. There'd be no hope for us. And Jesus, you changed that. And we're so thankful for it. Jesus, help us never to forget what you have done for us, what you've given for, what you've given us, and the opportunities and the promises that you've given us. Father, help us to serve you with everything that's within inside of us, God. Because you served us by giving us your best. Help us to give us and give you our best by serving you with our whole hearts. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, we have an option. We have a choice. I'll get to you in a minute here, Jackson, okay? We have a choice. And that's to serve others and meet their needs and serve Jesus and do those same things unto him in the process or to totally ignore the people around us. And not meet the needs of other people. That's the choice that we have. You know, when, we, when, you, when we choose to meet the needs of the people around us and serve God and honor Him in that way, guess what? He blesses us for it. And it blesses Him. He sees it and He rewards it. You might not see the fruit of that uh, need that you met here this side of heaven, but I promise you, you'll see it in heaven. So think about that. Think about that. Let's pray together. I want you guys to repeat this prayer for me. Let's bow our heads, close our eyes. Take just a second to talk to the Lord. This morning we're going to say our benediction of, at the end. But say, dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Make me more like you. Make me more like you. Make me into. Make me into. The person. The person. You created me to be. You created me to be. Help me to serve. Help me to serve others. Others. Just like you would. Just like you would. Lord, let the meditations. Let the meditations. Of my heart. Of my heart. And the words of my mouth. And the words of my mouth. Be acceptable. Be acceptable. In your sight. In your sight. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. My strength. My strength. And my redeemer. And my redeemer. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Here we go. Brain drain. Are you ready? Do you guys listen? Hey, you guys think you remember, remember the answers? Yes. Here we go. All right. Here we go. So we've got a couple of questions that we're going to ask you guys, and I want you guys to just raise your hand. I don't want you to jump up and down or blurt the answer out. I want to call on you guys individually, all right? So our first question is coming up right here. What did Jesus do to teach the disciples to serve? Jackson. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. We'll get a drink in just a second. Yeah, we'll get a drink in a second. Well, what, 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 what did Jesus do, do to teach the disciples to serve? Bryson. Wash their feet. Wash their feet. You're Absolutely. right. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Second one. What is the old man's way of behaving? So the old man, that means before Jesus, how do we behave? Lillian. Selfish. Selfish. Selfishly, yes. Yes. And what and proud. Okay, so the focus today was not just on being selfish. It was being selfish, but also thinking you're too good to do something, right? Because the disciples, that foot washing was like the lowest people would do that. And they were shocked because Jesus was going to wash their feet, right? Because they were like, you're the king. You shouldn't wash my feet. And so, but Jesus showed that we shouldn't be too proud, that everybody can serve. Yes. All right. Next one. What should the, what should the man made new in Christ do? So what do we do now? What's what are we supposed to do? JC. Be selfless. Be selfless. Be selfless. And what's yes. the S word? Serve. Serve. Right? Serve. Serve. Other Serve other people. Yes. So be selfless. Don't <laughs> excuse me. Don't think about yourself. Or only your needs, but serve other people and see their needs and meet them and do what you can to help them. All right, next. Fill in the blank on today's memory verse. When anyone belongs to Christ, they become a new person. Their blank has gone. Lillian. Their old way. Old way of. No, old way of. Um, Life. Their way of life has gone. I was going to say their way of thinking. Life. <laughs> the heart with the heartbeat. Yeah. All right, their way of life has gone. All right, I just realized I don't think we ever actually went over the big idea today, and that's the next question. Yeah, well, we can still do that. So, <laughs> what was today's big idea? Yeah, so, Ethan. Can you guess? That's our big idea. No, I think I can. Oh, yeah, you think you can get it? All right. What is it? That's pretty much it, just yeah. kind of reversed. It says, I will follow Jesus' example of serving, serving others. others. Yes. All right. Okay, so let's not say that because we didn't yet. So, I will. I will. Follow Jesus. Follow Jesus. Example of serving others. Example of serving others. Yes. All right, guys. So, we have to do this, all right, because it's what Jesus did. And we're supposed to follow his example. And because when we follow his example... When we do the things that he did, we lead other people to him. And that's a really cool thing to be a part of. All right?